Goats and sheep are the mostly raised and are common farm animals. Both are smaller sized ruminant animals and provide milk, meat and wool in the case of sheep. Sheep and goats are closely related. Both are in the same subfamily, Caprinae, and it's sometimes difficult to tell if a specific breed or strain is a goat or a sheep. Both goats and sheep are hoofed mammals. For this reason, you may find some farmers keeping both sheep and goat in one herd. On today's show, we look at two different farmers, one who rears sheep only and another farmer who rears goats only. Let's start with Oloitipis Ranch located in Kisarian, where we met Francis Kokutia, the farm manager. Dry weather and cold area is very suitable for sheep farming. The main characteristics of sheep is that their body is fully covered with fur. There are many breeds of sheep in Kenya, but the three main ones include the Red Maasai, the Merino, and the Dopa sheep. Here at Oloitipis Ranch, they keep the Dopa varieties, and according to Francis, the Dopa sheep were the result of crossing Dorset Horn with black headed Persian sheep. Dopa, the breed Nzuri, Kwa Nyama na Masiwa. The Pia Kondrambaye in a Dumu, the Ama in a Sana na Kiangasi, na Magonjo. Pia ni Kondrambaye in a Sakua Raka, na Kwenda Kwa Soko, Kwa Muda ya Miesiminane na Adi Adi Mwakamoja. Selection is the basis for any flock improvement. The accuracy of decision on which animal to keep is critical to progress in improving the sheep flock. According to Francis, the aim of sheep selection is to maximize profit. The offspring from selected ewes and rams should produce high quantity and quality of milk, meat and wool. Tukona zile ndume ambaye simekua selected kwa kutumia kwa farm na kuna zile ambaye simekua selected kwa kuhusia wakulima ili wao waende wa harvest hiyo mbegu na waendelese hizo hiyo hiyo mbegu ya dopa Ideally only the top 5% of rams of a farm's lamb crop should be considered for breeding Just because a ram has testicles doesn't mean he should be allowed to mate with ewes At Oloitipis Ranch they check the history of the ram among other things before breeding to ensure the sheep will give good offsprings. Kuna zile qualities enye unafuata kwa kuchagua ram. Unaangalia history kutoka kwa mama yake na baba yake venye hiyo ability kama mama yake is a on a good mothering ability kama ni zile ambazo zitakuwa forced mothering mothers to atuwezi kuweka pale kwa breeding. Pia tunaangalia the testicle kama ni ile ambaye zile siko na ile kubwa ya kukua mpaka huko chini huwa atweki kwa sababu asikui eh, for good genetics pia tunaangalia the history ya babake although babake tunatoka kutoka South Africa so tutakuwa na ile record yake in breeding is a system of breeding in which closely related animals are mated this includes sire to daughter son to dam and brother to sister Technically, inbreeding is defined as the mating of animals more closely related than the average relationship within the breed or population concerned. For this reason, at Oloitipis Ranch, the Dopa sheep is imported all the way from South Africa. According to Francis, one ram at Oloitipis goes at 35,000 Kenya shillings. If you get an outbreak, it is easily to clear your flock of sheep because of inbreeding. If it come in terms of uh, those immunity their blood of sheep can be very very light so that they don't have those immunity to fight diseases as a farmer you must make a mechanism that you cannot use those uh, rams or males that are born in your farm if you start cross breeding the more you cross breed a sheep from a different farm the more your sheep come the more he has a lot of uh, weight 
and attend the market weight at the right time. Tunanua kutoka South Africa kwa sababu ya kuhepa ile mambo na inbreeding. Kwa sababu as a farmer eh, nikienda kwa farm siwezi nunua ndume moja kwa farm zaidi ya mara mbili ama ama mara tatu kwa ajili ya kuhepa, kuhepa ile mambo ya inbreeding nisifanye inbreeding pale pale sasa nanua leo hii farm naenda kwa ile ingine ili nipate zile kondenye ziko na damu tofauti na zile kondenye zitakuwa strong kwa sababu bado itakuwa na ile genetics bado sijakuwa in one line kwa sasa tuko na kama rams za kuuza 50 tunaoda zile yenye tunatoa kutoka South Africa tunanua na elfu mia moja. A ram can usually mate 3 to 4 ewes per day. In general, the recommended ratio for mature rams is 1 to 35 to 1 to 50 in large flocks. The percentage of rams to use is often higher. Ratios of 1 to 100 or 1 to 150 are not uncommon. According to Francis, the ratio of ram to use may differ depending on the maturity of the rams. He adds that immature rams can be given 45 to 50 rams for mating. Zile rams zenye natoa kutoka South Africa kuna ile procedure kwa sababu kuna ile ratio ambaye ndume moja anafaa kupanda hiyo ratio ya hizo kondoo. Ukiwa na kondoo 200 ile ratio ambaye ndume atasapanda ama ile ambaye ni first time ku mate inafaa kupatiwa kondoo 45 hadi 50 lakini ile ambaye imekuwa imekuwa experience ambaye imekuwa na ile ujuzi ya kupanda unahesabia kuanzia kondoo 30 eh, 45 hadi kondoo sabini. sasa hiyo inakuanga na ratio ambayo sasa unahesabia ile ndume yako nikishatumia kwa ile breeding ile ndume ambaye nitatumia juu nitatumia kwanza tuseme moja ama mbili ule ambaye kisaa zile dauta zake zitarudi kumpea da tumia a different ram ili kuepa mambo na inbreeding sasa tunatumia tuseme one ram tunatumia for maybe three times two times lakini bado nikitumia siwezi tumia kwa wale wasichana wake although nikiwa na mali ambaye nitatenga isiwe inaenda tu kukuta kondoo kupanda ovyo ovyo bado nitatumia ile ndume kwa muda ya miaka hata ine kwa sababu nitampatia apande wale wa mama ambaye wale wa mama wakubwa kitambo nisiondoe zote sasa nita separate tu wasichana wake nipatie a different ram after three to four years Francis sells the rams that he believes can no longer mate with the ewes because either they are old for his farm or he's trying to avoid inbreeding according to Francis these rams are called retired rams nikisha malisa for breeding kuna wale farmers ambaye wako interest, interested sisi sasa tu mi ama farm yetu ya Loltepe sisi tunasema hiyo it is a retired ram itakuwa imekuwa retired so if uh, any farmer is uh, interested it ka, uh, we sell to him to gain use for his flow so after after that uh, time of 3 to 4 years we, uh, we we also dispose the the ram and then we sell to others farmers who are interested a lambing percentage of 150% can be reached under good conditions while in exceptional cases 180% can be attained thus on average a dopa ewe can produce two lambs on an annual basis average birth weight was 3.48 kg for males and 3.37 kg for females Francis explains that dopa sheep have a good mothering ability and have a high rate of twinning. Unajua ni kitu yenye una buy pale South Africa itakuwa imewekwa quarantine for a period of uh, maybe six months and then they transported to Kenya. Uki labda as singine unaweza kuja utumie ukute ile ndume is not producible. Aisi produce zile yani they, are, they cannot uh, be pregnant. Kuna wale ambao unanunua ubatike upate zile yenye siko na high rate eh, ya conception maybe iko juu sana ukipatia kondoo sabini unapata maybe utapata kama 95% juu itaisagua ni kondoo tatu ama ine azitakuwa zime zimeshika mimba according to francis farmers thinking of keeping the dopership variety should not worry about buying the pure breed 
He advises farmers to start with what they have, that is, the non-pure breed and make it pure breed with time by mating it with pure breed. Kwa kila mkulima ambaye ako na ndoto ya kuwa mkulima ya dopa, ama wenye anataka kuanzisha hiyo project ya kuwa na hiyo project ya dopa. E, tuseme mimi ni breeder ya, ya, ya dopa na ninausa sile breeding ramp na wewe unataka ku, e, kununua dopa ramp. Yu, ukite, kuna wale wakulima ambaye wanapenda kuchukua vitu ready ambaye wataki kupitia process ambaye wanakuja ananunua zile yuzetu labda kumi ama ishirini aenda start ile flow yake lakini kwa wale ambaye hawana hiyo uwezo wa kununua zile dopa wale wanaenda kwa soko wananunua zile local breeds tuseme red masai eh, merino or any other breed na wakuje wanunue ndume wakienda wakifanya cross breeding wakienda the first cross breeding wanapata 50% red masai 50% uh, dopa wakienda hiyo wakienda akienda 75% 87% baka ikuwe piwa. E, ule mkulima mwenye atataka sasa kwenda huko inategemea sasa na mfuko yake. Ukiwa we ni mkulima mwenye mdogo kama kijana mwenye sasa labda umetoka shule juzi unataka hakuna kazi unaweza chukua tu zile tukondo kidogo ya red masai zile local you you study your own uh, breed through those uh, local breed and then you, you reach the pure dopa. We took a short commercial break but when you come back we'll meet Dr. Peter who rears different breeds of goats.